miss something. Alright. Oh. God, look at how old this... Look at all this old on screen right here. All this old. God, I am. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. Check some emails really quick. I'll wait for folks to roll in. Sorry, I just realized I need to send a picture out really quick, uh, or send out an email really quick simply because I, it's something kind of important that I should have probably have more information on rather than, yeah, another, uh, some information I should probably have more, or something I should have more information on rather than, <clears throat> excuse me, rather than wait until Monday before trying to tackle it. second uh let me kill audio here for just a second while i hear something that is exactly what it is
That's what I thought that was going to be. Also, let me kill this just in case, because I'm going to download something and I don't remember where I last downloaded something. Well, you heard what it is. Okay. I didn't know what monitor that was going to appear on. Didn't want to give away secrets of what was going to be coming up in my future because downloading files. Downloading files for future projects. Anyway. So, name of the game today. Name of the game today is Unchecking Thousands, and I, oh, jeez. Unchecking, damn it, thousands of little check marks. distracted right now. Let me pull this back up. So, what we're looking at here is basically near the bottom on all these. And my mouse is not turned on. There we go. Now you can see my mouse. Because we're going to be looking at this mouse constantly today. Basically what's happening throughout the day today is I need to go through and check off this singular checkbox on 4,000 upload videos. Because Google, instead of introducing a new platform for this kind of thing, instead wanted to bastardize their platform further and, and try and compete with TikTok duos. So we get to just scroll through all this, doing a whole bunch of clicking. It's great. It's great. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I can't even see what half of these are what half these old thumbnails are meant to be Tells you how much better I've gotten at doing thumbnails, but yeah, we've got a lot we've Got a lot to go through Thankfully with the clicks of buttons and how How I'm gonna be excuse me I'm going to be attempting to do all this or doing all this should be really organized in the fact that I just have to right click click right click click you know pretty cut and dry how I can even start doing this stuff unfortunately my short term memory is going to come back about me in the butt. Let's see six six seven yep Yeah, if only the tab had like a part two. If only the tabs I was opening had like the names of the videos in the corner. I could use that to help me more with all this stuff. That was number three.
Also, my brain would focus for half a minute. Help. Uh, new tab, new tab, new tab. Part two. I mean, this was my plan for most of the day anyway, so... Basically, this is the... This is the meeting halfway kind of thing today, where... This is where I meet folks halfway on a stream, because... Had I not put out that, hey, would you mind if I stream doing all this, I would not be streaming at all today because I would be, I would be doing this on my own time, in silence. But hey, we can just chat for a while, hang out, enjoy each other's companies, each other's company, words are hard. Listen to some tunes I've got stored up on my hard drive. Oh, I have to do this for two channels, by the way. I keep forgetting that, but no, I have to do this on two channels. And something to be said is that there's nothing that's gonna, like, somebody who really, really, really wants to sample this stuff. Like, if, if there are people that are dead set on sampling this stuff for a compilation or a, or a, or a, uh, people are who are dead set on sampling this for a compilation or a, oh, there's an option to just dis show likes and dislikes of the video. Neat. Well, I'm not going to mess around with that. Um, those people who put out false information on the internet will check that off. But uh, I was saying, people who really, who are who really want to put pull something together for a compilation video, they know how to do this anyway. I'm just not going to give people the tool to do it within this, within the program itself. And by that logic, I probably shouldn't even be doing this in the first place. But I'm petty. I'm petty, and if somebody wants to go wants to do it right and ask if, to use some of my stuff for one of their things, they can just ask me flat out. I will always say yes, but if I don't know what's happening, I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let it go. So, I hope Hi Kasai uh, Just to recap Just to recap Because I kind of went over this already And forgive me if I kind of go For a little bit here and there Because I Can't, I physically can't Sleep well right now Not because of what I'm doing But because of something else It'll make sense, so you can see my cursor now, but basically this right here, this little button right here. Uh last night or earlier or either last night or late thir or late on Thursday, YouTube basically rolled out this shorts thing, basically what TikTok does, for lack of a better example. It basically is, people can only do it for up to 60 seconds. 60 seconds total per short they they put together, but 15 seconds of a video you have made 
can be used, can be taken from the video and re-uploaded under that person's name. And YouTube has said, yeah, that's fine. And have given the tools for the people to actually just go ahead and do it. So, I have to go through several thousands of videos now. Where's my mouse? I have to go through several thousands of videos now and uncheck the box because instead of, instead of, instead of giving us a blanket option to allow it or not allow it and not giving us, and not giving the average user the knowledge that, hey, this is going to affect starting the, they just kind of shadow dropped it and, and basically went at, they kind of just shadow dropped it and went, yeah, um, it's, it's all live. It's, it's all live. It's on every single video you've ever made. And you don't get a say. Unless you want to go back through and uncheck and uncheck the box on every single video. And they're probably banking. Yeah, like there's some people who probably don't care and won't care about it. There's people like me who there's people like me who care about what was that option? Come on. Gross. There's people like me who care about all of my content and will go through this process. But what YouTube is, again, I speak ill. I speak ill of the company, not of the people who had to implement this in the first place. YouTube are working under the assumption that people like me who have been working for so long or people who won't have the time won't have the time or diligence or care enough to go back and do this. But as I said, I'm petty enough that I'm going to go back and do this. And I'll show you a number as soon as we're done with this page to give an example of this. To give an example of how much I have to go through. And keep in mind, yes, I have been doing this for over 12 years at this point. But there are people who have been doing it longer with more content than I have. We have to go through this process. I don't care about the age restricted stuff. I don't care. My stuff is. Oh. The bots come in troves. The troves and waves of bots. And you have to, and like, you have to ban them. Well, yeah, like you have to ban, you do have to ban the bots because they're trying to make a quick dollar. They're trying to make a quick dollar off of, I'm, again, I've said this in the past, I'm going to say it again. Don't tell me your age, but for younger, but for younger people, they're trying to bait them into spending their parents' money and then not deliver on the promise because why would they deliver on a promise? They got their money. They're out, and there's no way to trace it back to them if they've if they've done it right. So anyway, I've just gone just finished going through this page. But yeah, why don't you just, I know, I don't know how small it is on your end. Actually, I can do this. That helped no one. No, there it is right there. There, that's big enough. So I have to go through that many videos.
I've made almost 5,000 videos. So that's so that's why I kind of and I said on Twitter like I put this to a vote on Twitter earlier today. I put this to vote, and I was I put it to vote and I was like, or I put it to vote and said hey, I'm probably gonna spend my entire day doing this regardless. So if I stream today, if I do stream today, it'll probably be this. Would you guys be down for watching this? And all the people that voted, most people said. Yeah, I'll watch. So we get to just chill, chat, go through, go through kind of a vault of sorts of things I've done. 13. Kind of go through, kind of, kind of go into the vault of Scooter. And yeah, just dig through everything. <clears throat> I will have to take a break in approximately an hour's time. I'll take a break in approximately one hour's time though, because I have to go flip laundry and possibly even put my laundry away. Okay, I know where I was. I hate that my, I've since deleted the, uh, the thumbnails I made for this, but I hate that, my, that two of my thumbnails didn't save. So yeah. So yeah, roughly an hour from now, I have to go. I have to. I'm gonna be basically running away from here, flipping my laundry, and doing the laundry. And then we'll continue on. And then I'll have to wait like another hour twenty to do it again. I don't like having this many tabs. Like, what do I have in the what do I have in the other monitor? Maybe I can show it off really quick. Yeah, I can show this off. That's fine. If you're ready for streamception. Like, this is how many... You can see it right now. This is how many tabs I have open on my other monitor. Like, I have Gmail open for any YouTube correspondence. I have Twitter open in case I get a at. I have a watch later tab open because a lot of times when I'm editing or rendering videos... Or playing games, I have a backlog of stuff I've watched. I watch, which I'm not going to open this tab, but just know it's like close to a hundred again because I've spent the last two and a half days doing nothing but playing Monster Hunter, and that's about it. <laughs> but videos that but videos that I miss, I put into my watch later list, and then I watch and then I watch later when I'm doing something else mindless. And then you guys, like this is usually how many tabs I have open on my second monitor, and then I have my main focus on my primary monitor. And I mean, well... I'm gonna do this... I'm gonna do this with my phone. Just to take a picture. Even though it's not very well illuminated, is it? Oh well. Like... I don't mean to speak ill of anybody. Also, screw the extra cords, you could deal with it. Oh, hi, that's me from the side angle. Let's get everything in shot here. Would it be better sideways? Yeah, it'd be better sideways. You're you witnessing high tech right now. So like, that is my computer. Wow, it doesn't show up well at all, does it? In fact, it's even bleeding through because the, the freaking RGB is green. But that is my computer. It's a beast computer. Maybe if I get rid of the extra tabs. But yeah, it's a beast computer. It can like, I can do just about anything on that on that thing. So opening several hundred tabs is not an issue.
Anyway, okay, that's where I am. <sighs> Turning this off. Also, now I can put my stuff back so I don't accidentally knock over my water bottle. But yeah, we get to just... I don't know how... Oop. Cancel save first. Thank you. But yeah, I don't know... Excuse me. I'm going to see if I can't do this entire thing in one go. But... Just... But I don't know how I'm going to keep up the conversation. Because A... I physically, right now, cannot get fully well rested. So I'm exhausted right now. And B, I'm not a great conversationalist. Like, if someone gives me a kickoff point, I can probably talk for a good 10-15 minutes per kickoff point. I can't, unless I start getting the things that are big no-nos in social media, polit politics, namely, I can't go off on my own train that well. Though I guess going through all this, I can probably hit, I can, I'll probably see stuff and I'll go, oh yeah, there's this and that, and I can just like reminisce about stuff. So, subsequently, this is also a trip down memory lane. <sighs> we also get to listen to some lovely OC remix tracks that I have playing in the background, which I hope is actually audible. If it's not, I can always turn it up, but this is about the volume I leave things whenever I go to a BRB screen or anything, and most people will most people say, oh yeah, it sounds fine. So if it's not loud enough, somebody has to say something. Because on my end, I can hear this just fine. I can hear it just fine, and it feels like it's about the level you guys hear it at, but I have a volume adjuster on the back side of my headphones for what I hear. You guys don't have that luxury. You guys have a volume adjuster for my voice, and I'm not going to have you sit there with the with the thingy going eh, 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 every time I open my mouth and close it. Yeah. No, actually, I do have to do over 5,000 videos now. That I think about it because I have to remember. And I should remember by the time we get done here, but I also have to go through. I also have to go through the stream archive channel and uncheck all the boxes on that. So congratulations, YouTube. You have base basically what you have done is wasted the time the time and resource, the time and resources of dozens of engineers wasted up to, up to a weekend, a waste of the time of everybody up to a weekend who makes content for your platform. And all you're getting out of it is spite. Hmm, sounds like every major update you make thinking that you're going to do the right thing. Maybe consult and actually listen to your user base. I don't know. That I don't know. That's just that's just something strange and silly. I don't know. That call me crazy for thinking. You know, you might want to consult your user base who use your platform daily if something's a good idea or not. I don't know. Crazy thought. I I yeah, I don't know, man. I love how I'm on Twitch. I love how right now I'm on Twitch, so I can almost openly bash YouTube as much as I want. But I also need to not be go off the rails because guess where this VOD's getting uploaded to after the fact? Ha 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 Every time a huge update like this comes out that hurts the platform, 
everybody says it and everybody echoes it that if another video service comes about that is not as stupid as YouTube is, everybody, everybody is going to jump ship off of YouTube instantly. Like frame one, they're going to pick up their content from YouTube, slide over to the new platform, plop it on there, and YouTube is going to start running out, of, running out of what they need. Like they don't under, like they really, I, they should understand, but they don't understand that all it's going to take is for somebody to be somebody to basically go yeah we're tired of this make their own platform and YouTube's gonna YouTube stock and uh, word for how much they're worth how much YouTube is worth overall is just gonna dive bomb crater as it were Right, like, I know the issue is kind of double-ended for a lot of people. For YouTube, excuse me, for whoever makes it, they'll be they'll be well they'll be well versed enough in, in YouTube how YouTube works in order to say yes, we need this, no, we don't need that, and they'll go through they'll just go through a checklist. But the problem that's going to come up is, one, the user base, because the people who go to a new video streaming service right away are the ones who are usually the ones who are the most negligent. Most negligent to the rule set. I mean, they're the ones who... Excuse me. They're the, are, they're the people who look at the rules of any place they go into sorry gotta, re gotta reposition my mouse pad because I'm gonna be sitting on my mouse pad for a while now plus it's getting sticky it's getting it's getting a little hot and sticky now outside um yeah there's users that they go into a place they look at a rule set and go yeah no okay no I was onto this one yeah Yes. I mean, Kasai, for you specific, for you specifically, you know this one. Um, <clears throat> people, people come like there's somebody, at least one person a week, if not more, who barges their way in the Charles' server, drops as many swears as they can possible, because they think they're above the rules. So, hey Dan. God, I remember this. That's kind of funny, actually, thinking about it, because uh, Dan Donut Dan was a NPC in Explosion Man. It basically was a human shield or a weighted puzzle mechanic. But then it's funny because that "Hey Dan" phrase circled back around. It circled back around to. Um, let me think. It circled back around to Sword and Shield, Pokemon Sword and Shield, because the guy who gives you the tips and tricks for each gym is called Dan. And now people are, are when they see that guy when they answer the gym, they go, oh, hi, Dan. Anyway. I jump subjects. That's going to happen a lot because my brain is... I'm so I'm exhausted, so my brain's not focused. I've also been doing nothing and playing Monster Hunter for the past two days or so. That may have something to do with it. <laughs> Whoops. But anyway, so when the new so when the new system new, so this is theoretical at this point. When the new website starts, the first people that are going to go to it, they're going to be the ones that are going to like look at the rules and go, okay, I see, I see. 
perfect. And forgive me for using the words like this, but this is blatantly what it is. They're gonna go, all right, it doesn't explicitly say this, this, and this. All right, I'm gonna upload as many porn videos as I can onto this new streaming website to get them in trouble. And they do that. And then a new rule has to be set in place and a new bot system has to be set up. Plus if we wanted to have Plus, we want to have that site have advertiser-friendly stuff. That new website has to cater to how ad, uh, people who run ads cater to them and, and how they will, what ads they will and will not allow. Now, for someone like me, like there are other video services that have started popping up recently. Um, I wish I remembered it because I just saw. I'm gonna, well, I'll say Devin, but Marilyn's, one of Marilyn's recent Q&A streams where he talked about getting, not a, not necessarily a brand deal, but about having his videos appear on other, on another streaming website specifically for kids. He talked about that and he has been, you know, family friendly in his, in how he speaks. He's been family friendly since he started his making videos. And that benefited him because now he has the opportunity to go to other streaming platforms that do that basically say kid only, family friendly, no swearing, none of that. He can go do that. Someone like me, who has basically in this area we're seeing right here on this page, I was in full on swear mode, cussed like a sailor. I'm not going to get that deal unless I decide, unless I find which videos I stop swearing in and start checking them off the list and say, okay, you can take this there, this one, this one, this one, this one, don't take that one, this one, you know, that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's besides the point. The, uh, what is it? It also would help, like, what I, what videos I have, what I'm covering, like, this game right here, Explosion Man. You literally, like, it's, it's cartoony enough because when you do kill a humanoid NPC, it's not blood and gore, they explode to a pile of neatly packaged meat products. But even then, some of the stuff I've covered is definitely not kid-friendly. But yeah, whoever, whoever grabs up those reins has to... Basically has to kiss the boot. Whoever starts it up, like, whoever does start up that new system, that new video system, has to kiss, has to kiss the boot of whoever, who can, whoever controls the ad revenue machines and cater the rules to that as well. So, you know, <laughs> like right now. The pool of things that YouTube gets for ads, at least from what I see, there could be others, are meal box delivery services, mobile game ads, and that's about all the ads I get. Oh, and of course, Dr. Squatch, who gets who, can, who are allowed to get away with 20 minute long ads. Preposterous BS. Uh, yeah. Hi, brain is short circuiting already. Oh yeah, I was talking about what ads. So like the ads I get, that's all the ads I get because so many people on this platform won't act like good, won't act like decent human beings. So only the lowest of low advertise people who pay for advertisements, only those people appear on YouTube now.
and you probably know, people probably know this too, like, before the entire, <laughs> excuse me, uh, w uh, incident where he went into a, a forest and showed a literal deceased person and wanted to make ad revenue off of it, almost every major ad company, Pepsi, Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, ones like that, they've disappeared off the platform. For an incident that happened over three years ago, at least. Why am I not saying the person's name in specific? One, for my own, for my own sanity, and two, because we're going to try our best to look past that. But yeah. No, that's kind of how I've gotten to be. Uh, what was it? Oh, exactly. Don't, don't, don't feed them the traffic they don't deserve because they, they basically, they basically ca did not have the decency to pull something out. They did not have the decency to pull out something that is clearly immoral. But they want money for that bad. They basically jeopardize an entire platform. Anyway, let me roll back on topics a little bit here. So yeah, the people like bots, uh, I mean, you know, bots and or people who come in and blatantly just try to cause trouble. Like, yes, you, ha you have to give them enough attention to go, okay, well, I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoyed your trick. Go away now. Bye bye. Ban. Like, the, it sucks that you have to give them enough attention to get to that point, because they, they get off of it, that's all they want, is they want somebody to acknowledge their existence, and that's how they can get somebody to acknowledge their existence, is by being a jerk, or disregarding rules. But I, I, I don't know if sympathize or sentimentalize with you on that, in that the people who do, who do that, it's just like, you could do so much more with your day. You could do so much more with your time, but you're choosing to spend your time being a freaking troll. Like, granted, most of these people that, most of the people who are actual people and not bots who blatantly set out to do this kind of stuff, that kind of stuff, you know, they're somewhere between the ages of 12 and 16, where they're trying to get attention, and the best way they get attention is by is by breaking every rule they can find. I see the I like I see those kind of people and I go, you have so much more potential and so much more of your life ahead of you. And as and if you're planning on having this username tied to you as your name for life, you're going to kick your own ass in about five years because you couldn't keep yourself under control and do something better with your time. Like, I'm no saint. I'm no saint and I'm kind of, you know, this is, we're getting, we're getting existential crisis territory. I'm no saint. I spent, I spent my teenage and young adult years focusing on video games. To where now my skills of trade that I know I can, uh, skill of trade I know I can bring to the table with, with knowledge is manual labor. You can't really show manual labor very well on a, uh, on an, in any capacity other than working a, not working a job. And video games. Like I'm now in the part of life where I'm, I'm trying to see what I can do, trying to see what uh, secondary professions I can pick up to expand my expand my portfolio so I don't pigeonhole myself. 
but I spent so long not pigeonholing myself that, you know, basically those, those again, those troll kids who do nothing but break rules, they're going to fall into the same situation I am, I'm in, in like 10 years where being an asshole doesn't get you, it doesn't have actual practical job skills. But for the uh, the bot issue, the bot issue, that's just a really strange, that's a really strange thing, really. I mean, it's a handful of people. It's like, keep in mind, when I'm thinking about this, 12, 12, 12, 12 okay. When I think about this, like, what comes to mind, excuse me, what comes to mind with, when I think about, uh, when I think about bots is it's like a handful of people have uh, I've been doing this in order four three two three weird um two when I think about people who make bots I I do think about you know just a, a couple dozen people Independent of each other, of course. A couple dozen people who sit down with lines of code, sit down, work on them, push them out, and go, okay, yes, I have made this code. I have made this line of code that posts this link that looks like a legitimate business front that gets people to spend money. That gets money uh, people to spend money on something I don't have to deliver on. And I don't have to do anything to get that co get those lines of code out there. A bot just goes and finds somebody who's streaming. Hi, buddy, bro. Just, uh, the bot just goes out and finds people who are streaming, and just as if the bot hasn't been banned, they just go ahead and post their message in there that says, "Hey, would you like to buy more followers?" So for those people, at least they have developed a skill in some sense, but they're not using it to their fullest benefit. Anyway, yes, hi, buddy, bro. How's it going? I mean, I'm not gonna lie about what I'm doing. I'm list I'm jamming the tunes, and I'm on checking thousands of these stupid boxes. Which, there you go. You can read it better. If you don't know, YouTube basically said, "But what if we were TikTok?" I guarantee you, within a week, I guarantee you that within a week, we're going to have an upsurgence of the, god, what is that, 2008? We'll probably see it when I've run across that video about me complaining about it and somewhere in this mess. We'll have a resurgence of the cam girl situation we had back in like 2008, 2009, somewhere in that range, maybe closer to 2012. Of people just taking bits of video, taking these, sh uh, doing these shorts of somebody else's content, plugging their own content, and reaping the benefits equal to the those that that made the original content. I understand I'm not cracking a code with what I do. Or providing entirely unique, unique content to the platform with with the uh, thing I've majored in for content creation, but still original enough that I haven't gotten an axe or the five hundred other thousand of us that do let's play content. Yeah, I know. I know you mean. I know you mean sarcastically, buddy, bro. But this is pretty much going to be my day anyway. And I checked, and I basically checked on Twitter with people. Hey, do you mind if I stream me doing this? And I got a, 
I base the the poll that I ran, which was a short poll, was a bit resounding. Yeah, that's fine. You can stream this. So we're streaming this. We're chilling. We're talking. We're chilling. We're talking, and we're looking. And we are looking like, and we're looking like a ta uh, somebody at the ta at, uh, tax offices right about now. Which okay, this isn't like a terrible thing, so I guess I can't talk about. Hello. Eh, kinda. Let me let me get my thoughts straight before I go forward. No, I lost my original topic. I'm exhausted, so topics topics are just gonna out my head really quick. Oh yes, I was. I, I don't remember what I was saying before. Yeah, buddy, bro, no ill will to her to you, but I made sure it was okay. I did this again. I see the kappa, so I know you're not being serious. But I made sure it, I was. It was okay for me doing a stream of this before I actually did a stream of this. <laughs> okay. I've gone over that in the past, Kasai. It's just like, how much energy do you want to waste? Like, don't feed into every single troll you come across. Like, they're gonna come in, they're gonna troll, and just, you know, it's like, okay, congratulations, you troll, banned. Just don't give them any more time of day. But occasionally, occasionally have fun with them. Occasionally get inside their head. Like, there was a stream, it's not, it's not documented because this stream happened back when Twitch was just in TV. But you know, I had a stream way back then when I did like one of my first streams ever. Somebody popped in the chat and like basically, cause keep in mind, this is at the point that I was, you know, 400 plus pounds. Came in, oh, you're fat. It's like, and I, I basically fed into it and I went, fantastic. You can see that I'm fat. I see your eyesight's working quite well today. Something, to, something like that. And then they tried to give me the, uh, they tried to give me the whole, uh, I'm part of the military copy pasta. Yeah, they tried. But yeah, it's like, um, but yeah, they tried to give me the, co the military copy pasta. How dare you? I am an ex Navy SEAL, ex Navy SEAL and top of my platoon and all that jazz. And it's like, cool. My dad's a marine. I'm used to this kind of stuff. I also know that if you pull this kind of stuff as as somebody in the military, they would shut you down instantly. And then I banned him. <laughs> I let them have their fun. I let them have their fun. And then I made fun of them. Well, it's fair play if you're going to be a dick. And I guess the thing, like, I know I'm... I know I come across as brash. I know I come across as rude. It's my poor word choice that I still struggle with to this day. But, um... Yeah, my poor word it's my poor word choice and everything, but do know I don't mean ill will. I try to be the best I can be with people, and I'm usually as kind as I possibly can be. But I also know from knowing me from knowing me for so myself for so long that if I wanna be a dick, I'm pretty good at being a dick. Do 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 do
Okay, yep, we're down to the bottom of another page. Only God knows how many more pages to go. I don't want to do the math because I'm going to see it and go, Oh God, there's so many pages left to go. Oh God, yeah, the, goof, the goofing around series. We're gonna see the go we're gonna see the goofing around series a lot. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see the goofing around series a lot as we go through this era of YouTube. Just because I was I I was still mentally in the realm of I was still mentally in the realm of I want to make cohesive series, but I also would like to do things occasionally. Twenty four and twenty three, right? Yeah, I occasionally would like I occasionally want to do. I, I do want to do seri uh, series of videos or one-offs of videos that have no cohesion to everything else I've done and do it just for fun. And that's where in... Um, that's where in the Goofing Around series popped up. It's just the... Uh, I recorded this. I have no, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. So it's just gonna go up. See nine and eight. This is also a point of. This is also the point of YouTube where I started working with other people, and I'm recalling, I'm calling one person that I worked with in the past that uh, basically flaked off. When he got when he got his uh, when he got his one uh, when he got his plus one to be do uh, get better opportunities on the platform than everybody else, I'm recalling that person. I was just like, God damn it! How did that guy go from being a halfway decent person to an utter fucking dickhead? Sorry for my language. Like the, I'm not gonna say the name because I'm not gonna give him what I'm not gonna give him the attention he needs. But like we were, we were good friends. We worked on stuff. We did stuff together. And then he got his break. He got his breakthrough. And then he, he just said, "Okay, well, I don't need you. Fuck you." And basically ghosted about twenty to thirty people. Well, I'll say mutual friends that we, that I knew. About 20, he goes about 20 to 30 people because he was better than them. Then again, this is also this is also the time of YouTube that once uh, everybody like everybody figure out, oh, you can put video games, video game footage on YouTube and with commentary. Okay, let's do that, and that's basically a big point of where people started beef for the sake of starting beef. Dr the drama, a drama period of time, as it were. I had times where I've been able to do that. Because some trolls are so, we're so bad at trolling. You know, don't have time to write essays. Uh, you're trying to just stop. Eh. However you want to handle it, man. However you wish to handle that. Like, if I have time in my hands, if I have time in my hands and I catch a troll, and it's only going to affect me if I entertain them, I'll entertain a troll. But if it's... There we go. But if it's somebody... But most of the time nowadays, if I catch a troll, I'm just... No, I'm just... It's just... Boom, out the door. Try better next time. Also, I gotta check. This is on shuffle, yes? I really hope it is. Actually, we can find out if it is right now really quick. Because I don't want this song anyway. Yeah, it is. It is on shuffle. We're good. <sighs> but also take take my comments upon trolls lightly as well. 
Like I'm saying this just because, I mean, I don't want to say that my word is always an absolute, but take, you know, take what I say with a, with a bit of salt. I've, I've been uh, making content on the internet and been on, and to a much greater extent, been on the internet for so long that I've just kind of become jaded to, I've kind of, I kind of have just become jaded to trolls. And I've gotten myself so ingrained in internet culture now that if a troll does come if a troll does come along, I basically try and get inside their head. <laughs> Again, if it doesn't waste too much of my time. Just Ah uh, yes, hello troll, how are you doing? Uh yes, I know you're trolling, so what's your what what's the next words that gonna come out of your mouth, troll? Is it gonna be that I'm pretty sus or you're gonna hit me with the with the X Marine copy pasta of 300 confirmed kills. You're gonna call me. I'm. F you're gonna tell me I'm fat, or what's your next step of action after that? I'm a problem to the world. I'm a problem to the world because I feed into those that are a problem to the world. <laughs> You take the nice you take the nice route, which is great. You that you take the nice route on them. I take the route I take the route of I take the route of alright, we're gonna have a competition. Who can be the bigger asshole? Let's go. I bet I bet I got more I got I bet I got more experience at it than you do. Twenty-three years running, undefeated champ of being an absolute dickbag. Like I said a while ago, you get me started on something. No. Well, I mean, it was much more obvious a long time ago. Let's see. Let's see if I can find that picture. What folder am I in? I'm in my video game. So let's see if I can find that picture again. Uh, pictures, pictures, random pictures. Is it in this one? Yeah, like somebody will look at this. This is a horribly added picture. Somebody will look at this can tell by my face shape. Look at my face shape and go, oh, that guy's fat. All right, got him. Pegged him. Got him down to science. Now somebody comes in to try and make fun of my physical appearance. You can tell the difference in my face. Like, yeah, I still got a, a little bit of pudge around my cheeks here. But this is typical, normal, normal, normal fit individual face. But I've said it before, but a lot of times if a troll comes in and tries to troll, they latch on to the mo they latch on to the first most obvious thing they can possible to use against you. They don't wait around and see go hmm, speech patterns, they're insecure about this. And, okay, I got it. no. They look for what is directly in front of them and what is the first thing they can attack and they attack that.
We're done with that page, yeah. And I appreciate the... I appreciate the... Sentiment, I think is the right word? I should, I should actually probably just say compliment. But I don't know if which one is the more correct word. Reminder, I'm bad at words. Like I said, I try to be the best person I can possible and put my best foot forward. But I also know for a fact... I also know for a fact, like I said, either by word choice and be doing it unintentionally, or by... Excuse me. Yeah, unintentional word choice... Or by... Oh, that's mainly it. That I can be a dick. At this point, whenever I say something, you know, I do... Whenever I say stuff nowadays, I do... Will, I will flat out say, Oh, I'm going to say something here. I feel like I'm going to word it incorrectly. So if I'm a dick about it, you just let me know. But I don't mean to be one. And then I proceed on with my conversation from there. Do bugger. Four. Yes, the only the only amount of goofing around I've ever done in Source Filmmaker was for a, a t was for a chance to get recognized by Valve when they re first released this tool to the public. Excuse me. The song is going in hard. What's going on? I can't place the song. I'll see the name though in a second. Oh, it's Mega Man X3. Does not sound like Mega Man X3 at all. This is like one of the oldest remixes I have in my library right now, too. I also real. I'm not. I definitely am now realizing at this moment how petty this is that I'm going through and doing this but it's also going to be a something that even though YouTube barely even knows I exist it's going to be something that kind of sends a message out to them of oh dear god somebody actually went through and took and took off this check mark on all of their old content Oh no, like, that's kind of thing, like, I wish there was a, for YouTube, like, that's just a preference thing, like, I wish for YouTube Studio here, that I could click a button, I could click a button from this menu, and switch things to night mode, actually, it might be a setting down here. Whoops, my last name is on here. Oh well. Apparently I haven't updated this in a while. We'll just have some Mario and some Zelda and some indie games. 
I didn't. I didn't use. I deleted my my I deleted my last name, but I didn't know it was on there. Whatever, it's up there on the internet now. If somebody wants to scrub through the internet, find my actual last name. Whatever. I'm very close to just I'm very I'm very very close to just putting my last name on my Twitter account at this point for verification for uh, getting a verified check mark on there, but also to get uh, what is it? If not to only to get the verified check mark on my account, but also because of words are escaping me. Professionalism. That's the word. Sure, we'll go with that. Upload defaults. Uh, I'm not going to change that. Community agreement. Okay. Yeah, so I can't change the knife theme in here. Anyway, rolling ba rolling back around to the speed of sound. Um, if YouTube Studio had the option for for a dark mode, I'd be using that. Now, if you use light mode, that's fine. Fair enough. Use light mode. I'm not going to stop you. But it's much better on your eyesight to use dark mode because there's no blue light. Where am I? Somewhere? There they are. Because there's no blue. Because with dark mode, there's much less blue light glare that causes you to get uh, headaches. Like if you if you notice that you get a lot of headaches when you're at, if you're at your computer for a long time, nine times out of ten, it's because of the blue light that comes off of a off of a pure white screen. So that's why, if you that's why you can use light mode. But if you do, possibly also invest in some blue light blocking glasses like this. I don't wear glasses. I don't even wear contacts. I have a, I have a pair of. The outsides are dirty. I have a pair of these, just for if I feel like I'm starting to get a headache, I put them on to help to help drive off the headache, especially if I have a lot more to do. Which, speaking of things that I have a lot to do of, I've talked about it a lot. I, I'm yes, I'm taking the time to do this, so I should be actually. <laughs> doing going through the freaking videos um next week or i guess depending upon how things go today with all with doing all of this uh later today granting my brain pumps back to life or tomorrow i'm gonna do an extra the recording session for the week i'm gonna do an extra recording session this week because next week I'm getting my second COVID shot. And I want to put I want to push everything to the side, push everything out of the way possible I can for that week for that second week of May possible. So I don't have to worry about any content creation at all. I can just literally take a week vacation if necessary and die, and be slowly dying. And not have to worry about recording something or making sure people have content ready for them Man, I want to redo this series I want to redo this Golden Sun series so bad like I'm I'm hesitant to redo it because if I redo it at this if I redo this series at this point like what I want to do with this series is I kind of want to do a uh, kind of like a redo of what I did. I kind of want to do kind of what I did with the first time I did the series, but I don't know if I want to go to the extent that I did the last time I did it, or, or beyond what I did last time. Because when I first did Golden Sun, basically for the four major cutscenes of the game, the opening cutscene, the ending, and the ending cutscene for both Golden Sun and Golden Sun Lost Age, I had friends help me, and as many friends that could help me and I recorded I basically did a dub of the opening lines of the game the opening and closing lines of, of both games so what stopped me from doing is A I would like to do at least that again or B get to a notoriety yes I'm bringing up notoriety by the way get to a notoriety that I could put out a open casting call and have people record 
freaking every line of dialogue that happens in the game. And do a full redub, kind of like how, uh, uh, I'll shout, I'll shout him out because he's actually a good guy. Uh, Teal Game Master, how he did a, how he did a fan dub of Chain of Memories from start to finish. Like the whole thing. So like redoing the Golden Sun duology on Game Boy Advance is like a passion project I want to do, but I want to wait a bit on it until I can actually make it a decent thing. Like I would, I want to pour stupid amounts of time and effort into the project, like to the point where I record, I get almost the entire video series done before I put out episode one, just because of how much extra effort I put into it. Like I want to have, I, dude, if I did that for, oh my God, not for every LP. Like for every LP, that'd be that would be a dream, but I would definitely need to be to a point where I would have to have an editor help me edit this stuff down. Like when it comes to recording, only I could do that in that in that scenario. But uh, but if I did that for every LP, I would need an editor and a PR per, or a public relations person to help me contact that many people to provide lines for everything possible. And seeing as it's pretty much going to be me doing it at this point, I don't want to push forward at that right now. The reason why I want to do it so bad for Golden Sun is because outside of Indivisible, Golden Sun is... The Golden Sun duology in GBA is my favorite RPG. i played millions of... Uh, well, not millions. i played dozens of RPGs. The Golden Sun duology is still my, one of my favorite RPGs. And I want to, and I want to put respect as much respect on that as possible. So I would have like, I would have enemy cutouts. Like if we find a new fight, I would have, I would have the screen, you know, I would have the box for the image shrink in on the enemy in question, pull it up into the corner, have an entire bio on screen of the enemy. They're, they're like, I kind of did it with it with this too, like their offense, defense, what they're weak to what they drop I want that whole thing on screen have that, and then have that picture come back out and go back to the full camera for every fight I would like to have every character major and minor have lines and have them voiced by somebody like I would make it an entire film production thing but I would need I would do something like I would start it I would start the project well in advance just record the whole freaking thing well in advance and then seek out people to do the voice work for it and then come back later with that voice work and then come back later on that voice work and add that voice work in and all that effects just it would be a massive undertaking that would take me a long time or another person to help me edit everything down to be within a timely manner But if I do, but if I do the secondary option, I would pay, I would want to pay that person, pay them handsomely even. And as I sit right now, I can't afford I, I can I can't afford somebody else's living wages. I can barely afford mine. I shouldn't say I can barely afford my, I can comfortably aff afford my living wages. Somebody else's living wages though is another matter all entirely. Like I have a job, I, I have a job I go to most of the time. I have a job I can go back to. I have a job I can go to where I can make the money I need to pay for everything I need in life. And even with that, you know, me bare minimum, like bare, like bare minimum, a little bit more than bare minimum. I need like 
I think I told myself I need like about $2,000 to live comfortably. So if I were to hire on somebody else to help with editing, I would think like, you know, monthly salary for that person would, cause it would be, I would like to have them, you know, full time, full time at least. Yep. If I had somebody editing full time, I would have them, you know, I would say, you know, $2,000 for a month. As long as work gets done and gets out, that's what you get. Thank you for the host, Kasai. Wait, did... No, no, I just uploaded them in the wrong order somehow. We're good. Like, if it was a part-time job for that person, then I would... I would run percentages and work that out at that point, but... But yeah, like, if I hired somebody to do editing for me... To do editing for me, I would pay them. I would pay that person livable wages based on what I think a livable wage is so they don't have to be go off and work another job if they don't want to now for someone like me who lives in the middle of the Midwest where renting a place isn't the most expensive thing in most situations Two thousand a month is is very luxurious. Somebody on the east or west coast who gets a studio apartment for what I get, basically an entire, effectively an entire upper floor of a house for. Yeah, two thousand probably wouldn't cut it. I like how this went from my dream project to how I would but how I would budget a team. How I would budget a team and a working environment for a team. Like I don't know if I I don't know if I'll ever do something in my life that will hit a point of I am the sole manager and the sole money man of a company. But if it ever came down to that point, like that would be like, I wouldn't try and raise my own profit margins for my own sake, I hope. Like my biggest thing would be to make sure people can have affordable wages or can have living wages and can actually exist on what I get, exist what I, on what I give them every, every week to a month. So they don't have to go and jump to another job to pay, to make the rest of the ends meet. As it sits right now, I can do that for me, myself, and I, with other aven with other avenues of uh, work being done to uh, bolster my living expenses. Cause don't take this to the pity party. Shocker, because shocker, this here and this here doesn't pay my bills right now. I forgot this guy. I think I think the remixer's name is Sir Nuts. We're gonna find out in a second here. I forgot this remixer that whenever whatever remix they do, they somehow found a, find a way to put a Nicolas Cage clip into the song. No matter what song they're doing. Is it not gonna give me the author's name?
No, it's gonna give me Nobuo Uematsu. But it's not gonna give me the original composer. Well, let's find out what that is. Oh. Never mind. Brandon Strader and Jeff Ball. I swear, there's there's another there's another remixer that I like a lot of their work called Sir Nuts. That samples a lot of the uh, Nick Cage movies for in the in the song somewhere. Anyway, <sighs> but jumping back to that topic. So yeah, um, if I were to be somebody that could hand off the reins of what I do in editing, either partially to somebody else or hand it off entirely to them I would hand it off to them with <clears throat> with a promise almost that I will pay you I will pay you this much money each month which should be like 25% more than what you need to live comfortably so you can take care of yourself and everything if I can't reach that point to hire somebody to do that for me I'm not going to hire somebody. I'm just going to soldier through it on my own. Like, this is something that happened last... This is something that, ha that uh, happened like two weeks ago now, I think, at this point. There was some guy, there was some guy who got interviewed, like, uh, what is it, five years ago. He, he was the, he's the CEO and president of a company, younger guy, like, I want to say 30, 35, somewhere in that range, so, so younger is relative. He was a younger guy and president of a, of a uh, credit company. And he's, and he, uh, he basically cut his, he cut his uh, yearly wage down. And gave it to his employees every year so they could live a comfortable life. And when he did that, most of the most of the like most of the news and everything that latched onto him at that point basically said, Oh, you're you're a socialist, you're gonna you're gonna go out of business in three weeks, ha ha ha, ha and just laughed him off the planet. That guy's still in business. His company's still in business. In fact, his company has expanded tenfold because he pays his employees about what he makes a year that's what I would like to do if I ever got to be the like the head of a company in that in that regard is I would pay I would pay people uh, almost the same wages as me for doing a job for doing jobs I know how to do I would pay them that same thing because I want because as much as I want to be happy, I want other people to be happy, uh, just as happy, if not happier. Now, getting to that point, that's another matter in it all in itself. That's why I say in the future, if it does happen, and not it's going to happen. coming back to it now and I'm a little upset like I wouldn't be having to do all this right now like they're like we could be sitting here I could be sitting here goofing around with friends potentially grinding up uh, fights in Monster Hunter or playing Pac-Man 99 I could be doing that right now if YouTube literally had implemented a blanket button a button that would do a blanket action across the website for this for this stupid sample feature but because they don't want people to because they don't want people to undo it they they don't have that feature 
So I have to sit here and thumb through nearly 5,000 videos. No, it's gonna. When I'm done, it's gonna be over 5,000 videos. I forgot. I forgot again already that I have to go through the stream archive channel as well. Uh. Mm, trying to make me miss. decade uh it's <laughs> forgive me for sp speaking rudely buddy bro but how do i do it by putting out a video almost every single day over that last decade plus sometimes multiple videos a day because i had a stint where i did that for a while and i ran myself into the ground so hard that i burned out Stretch, don't knock over the green screen. <sighs> God. But yeah, I know it's kind of blurred because of the screen size and everything, but I mean, you can read the number. That number, 4,907 over there, that's all videos I've uploaded on this channel. Now, don't worry, for anybody that's worried, I have every single video stored locally. Uh, also grandfathered a little bit but I have every single video of mine stored locally so should the worst happen to my channel hello Eddie don't do should the worst ever happen to my ever happen to my videos or to my channel I can just go oh well that sucks well put in the hard drive upload on a new channel let's go round two baby hard drives like he asked for it he asked for the button you know what we do chat Not. the button which I will say for anybody that doesn't know this was my emote at one point I had to get rid of it because bigger channels who had this exact button as their emote were asked to remove it. So I've hit a lovely middle ground where I can you can still request this button. It's just not visible at all times. Anyway, hard drive. Let's see. Um, well, I could turn this on and show you. And grab some of the other ones.
So. You may have seen it a little bit as I was walking back in. So, this. I think it's a four. Yeah, it's a two four. So, this four terabyte mechanical drive is June 2019 to March 2020. This. I think this is a one terabyte. This one terabyte hard drive. Oh, no, this is my. This is an old Windows boot hard drive. Never mind. This doesn't count. Uh, I think this is actually a bad hard drive. There we go. I should just throw this hard drive out, actually. Probably still gonna keep it. Anyway. So it's these two hard drives right here. So I think I've got, I think these are both four terabyte hard drives. These are two four terabyte hard drives that have, I've had to re-download that from YouTube, so they're downsized a bit, but this is everything up until March, 2020. So those are download files. They are not the perfect raw files that I do have. Let's see. Uh, starting with, not this one. This is basically emergency drive to make room for if I goof up and anything and need anything moved off. Uh, this is from April. This is, uh, this hard drive is where I started. Where I, this is hard drive is where I started. Like when I render out a file, I take that that file and I move it onto a hard drive and I now have the raw rendered file in my possession at all times instead of what I downloaded back from YouTube. So this four terabyte hard drive is, I believe it's, it's April 2020 until, I'll think of the numbers. April 2020 until I want to say November or December 2020. Keep in mind, that's a four terabyte hard drive. That's not that big in comparison to what I have. I This is a 10 terabyte hard drive, but because of how formatting works, it's only nine. This 10 terabyte hard drive is basically from, oh no, it's way different. No, that, that four terabyte would be from like April till October or September, somewhere in that range. So this hard drive right here that I've got a mouse over, that's major, basically holiday time 2020 up to today. And I've got, and I've got this hard drive here ready to go, 18 terabyte hard drive. I've got it ready to go for when this one runs out. What I should do is I should buy myself like another 18 terabyte hard drive and start taking all of this stuff and copying it over and start grandfathering some of my stuff. So 18, 10, 24, 32, 24, 40s. Yeah, I've got about 40 terabytes of hard drives here for storing all of the content I've made ever. Granted, that's spread out across 12. No, I didn't back up until like seven years ago when I had ill ill feelings of my channel and YouTube. It didn't happen until about seven years ago that I started to back up all this stuff, at least. But yeah, I've been backing up all my stuff. Like I said, in case anything ever happens, I got it all. <laughs> They can't remove my ownership of videos that I have made because I own them all. Uh, but yeah, I basically... 
can't really see it and I'm not going to pull it on camera here, but I have uh, the hard drives that you see here, the JKLM here. Those are all in a individual hard drive bay that I can turn off and on for when I need to copy stuff over. So like it's on right now and I can access anything in that like here. Okay, let's go to this one. Select all this, all that stuff that I recorded. Oh, you should go see stuff that's coming up on the channel future. Oops. But yeah, all this stuff that I recorded and all the stuff that's probably up there on YouTube somewhere, it's all in here. It's all in here. It's just like, oh, my YouTube channel went down. Well, open up some, open up a file, double click, and start uploading. Here we go again. Just to have that to refer back to in case things go south. Anyway, I can also turn off this hard drive bay. There it goes. They're all gone. Anyway, I'm going to get back on task. Uh, let's see. Oh, my. I think I may have to... After this page, I may have to take a small break here. Yeah. Like... Much like the Nintendo Ninjas, I wouldn't doubt there is the Google Ninjas that would come and do that, but it's oh, not that one, that one. Like, I'd be very impressed. I'd be very impressed that they've managed to come into my home that I share with somebody else and, and find where I've stored these hard drives while I'm still in my home or while the home is locked and take all those and run away with them. Congratulations. You just took some, you basically, you basically stole countless hours and about a thousand, well, I should say a thousand dollars. Compared to spending as of today, you took about $600 away from somebody. That's, that's something that can be punishable in the court of law. I hope it was worth it for some video, for some videos of a guy yammering into a microphone while playing video games. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, after I get done with this pa with this page of checkboxes I have to stop for a minute and go flip my laundry and I may have put it away so there might be like a five ten minute break here while I do that but then we can get back to the clicking madness the clicking mayhem and the click of the clack of the click of the click of the clack the clack 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 don't ask I don't have any energy drinks to put my brain on track and make me talk right right now I could make some coffee, but why do that? God, I keep telling myself this. Okay. <clears throat> Here's how you know you're, you're approaching an old age or how you know you have odd impulse control. I've posed this, I've posed this first question many times in my life. The later at night it gets, which by the way, for me, it's 6.30. The later at night it gets, the more delicious coffee sounds to me. And I'm not talking, you know, cream, sugar, all No, I drink my coffee black. The later it gets at night, the more delicious a uh, cup of coffee sounds to me. There we go. But I've noticed a lot more lately that as I'm getting, as I'm, especially this year, that I have cravings for things that I would not assume would be a normal dinner for me. Like, you know what sounds really good right now? Steak. A steak sounds good right now. Four years ago, you know what I say, you know what I said would sound delicious and what I would love to have? Chips. Candy. Soda. We could attribute that to the fact that I'm eating healthier finally, or we could attribute to the fact that I'm just getting old and I'm finding enjoyment in more richer appetite things or more bitter, uh, bitter tasting things. And I'm not talking like you know traditional trope of. He wants steak. He's talking a T-bone, a big old T-bone steak. No, no. I just, I just want a New York strip, man. I don't want those big cuts of steaks and whatnot. I don't want anything 
I don't want anything like super fancy or anything. I just want, I know it's a fancier cut, but I just want a New York strip. And it's been coming up a lot more because freaking because for this because this week freaking Super Mario Party came out with online play, and guess what? I, every time I see somebody play that now online, they have the the stupid steak flipping mini game pop up in their compilation without fail. Not that one, that one. Also, yeah. Ugh. I should say, even though I know most people know I mean well at this point, I should say I do see the Kappas on messages. And no, you're joking. But me being me and over explaining things as I do, I'm gonna still, I'm still, I am still gonna over explain and back myself into a corner, so to say, with my words. Because I feel like I need to defend myself. And not getting on the train of, and not trying to get on the train of mental things, but I think it ha that has a lot to do with my upbringing, how I got gaslit a lot as a child. Anyway, so that page is done. I'm just going to come back to here so it's not something I know. I'm going to take a quick break and walk away. I'm still going to leave this up and leave the music going, but I'll be back in a minute with my laundry, and then I'll be able to actually see what you guys are saying in a couple more minutes once I fold my laundry.
<sighs> Shed tears of joy, I have arrived. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Now the unchecking process can continue. Anyway, I hope everybody's been ha I, I realize I'm being kind of a, a bit sour and salty right now, but I hope everybody's having a halfway decent weekend. I just clicked on it. I forgot. Okay, 25. Okay, so we're here. Also, if you hear any noises outside, my apologies, but it's getting a bit muggy in here, so I opened up the window. Oh, God. Remember this. Chantelise. I should, I should boot that game up and go back and play it again. Because, like, that was... Chantelise was an idea because I think I bought it on a whim from Steam. But I think I was also encouraged by by a friend at the time to make a video on it, saying, saying how much I liked it. And that Chantelise is... What I will say is the very first... that I think that video is the very first video of uh, the Think Fast series. Now that I'm done with that, let me look, let me look up what it is. Chantelise... I can't... I wanted to look up who the developer was. Because I want to say... No, Easy Game Station. I want to say it was a developer that I knew... At some point. Uh, also, Manga Dio, Duo Princess... Right, they also did Reseteer. That's why I know that name. Whatever. Oh, things are said different. By the way, have I mentioned I'm, I'm I've been learning Japanese because I've been learning Japanese, and this is different than what I know so far. Okotosu. Okotos. Yeah, saying. The su at the end of a word, or even in the middle of a word in Japanese, is usually silent. And it's weird to bore that into my brain pan. And anyway, make sure that part 25 is what this is. It is. And the unchecking process begins again. Anyway. So yeah, it's about 6.40 right now. So at about 8 o'clock, I'm going to need to run down and pull the last of my laundry out. But I won't... I won't fold it or anything while I'm on stream here, just because, yeah, that's going to be my own problem to handle. I'm remembering this era like I was really proud of the theming I put behind this era of my YouTube channel I still am because I'm because when I was doing multiple 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 projects at once at the same time for no good reason I remember I put the theming behind this of just like it's it's water it's 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 a water park that's the whole idea of, of Golden Sun uh, gold water monotype and Sonic Adventure 2 was just like it's all they're all centered around water they're all centered around lots of bodies of water or be or being water. And I was it was so simple, but I was very proud of I was very very proud of myself for reaching that uh of reaching that idea or conclusion.
Now we're nowhere near it right now, but I will say once we get closer to once we get closer to like more current videos that are out there, I'm probably going to kill the screen and just I'm probably going to kill the the uh, kill the feed on screen here just so I can leave some mysticism about products I'm working on, as at just as such as as products I'm uh, mysticism of products I'm working on or are uploaded in advance to not ruin that surprise. So, yeah, towards the end, we'll probably switch over to, we'll probably switch over to this screen, and I'll be doing my thing, but I can still, we can still interact this way. But that's not here and now, that's later. Hmm, I smell smoke, I think someone's having a bit of a, I think someone's having a little bit of a barbie outside. See how it was just, see how, okay, that's just a craving in head randomly. I don't know if anybody else like this, but I just got hit, like, I just got hit, like, in the stomach, because I'm getting hungry again, but I just got hit in the stomach with, with the notion of, shrimp sounds delicious. Apparently, my tastes are high and fine dining right now, because I want shrimp and I want steak. Also, let me just blip this away for just a second because there are mustache hairs tickling my nose and I need to take care of them. You probably don't want to see some guy take trimmers to his trimmers to his nose or look like he's or look like he's doing something un, inexplicable with his nose. Never mind, it just went away. The dangers of having a mustache. If you if your hair if you have curly hair like I do, thanks mom. If you have curly hair like I do, your mustache hair is just gonna decide. You know what's a good place to go? In your nostril. I live in here now. Even if you don't touch your even if you don't touch your 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 uh, face hair. Go down, <laughs> more like go in nose. Got him. Something else that happened. That's something that happened this week. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking about things for Top's conversation, not related to the music that's playing right now. By the way, so toys for Bob. Like I'm pretty sure at this point, almost everybody's heard about. For those that haven't, toys for Bob has been sol uh, has been swallowed up by the Call of Duty machine, as we'll say, that Activision has running. Of course, the PR at Activision is trying to say the opposite, but pretty much a bunch of developers have come out over this week and have said, "Hey, uh, Activision came up to our building, our building, or our our set of the world, and said, you either need, you either work on Call of Duty, Call of Duty Warfare, or yeah, Call of Duty War uh, Warzone, or you don't have a job anymore." And pretty much every and developer, the developers of Toys for Bob are telling this story, but pretty much every developer of Toys for Bob are just like, mm, nah, I'd rather go start an indie company than work on, work on some trash. There we go. I'm getting kind of into a flow now. Getting into a flow. Know, know exactly what the buttons look like so I can click them quick. Now, me being me, I feel kind of bad because one, I haven't bought Crash 4 yet because I'm still haven't I still haven't touched Crash 2 and 3, 
and around the Cortex to a lesser extent. Like I still haven't bought the I still haven't bought Crash 4 because I have those games to go through in the Crash series. So I feel bad because I feel like I was kind of a downfall almost. But even with that, you know, I looked up the metric today because a lot of times when something ha like that happens to a company or a subsidiary of a company who makes stuff, they usually get the door slammed on them because what they produced didn't sell well enough. And that was their last big, and that was going to be their last big shot before they had to close their doors. Crash 4 sold 400, uh, 400,000 plus copies. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. Yeah, they sold 400,000 plus copies of, of the game. Up, up till now. Where the other Crash games released recently, uh, Insane Trilogy and... I got like 55, 40. Yeah. Where the other Crash games that were sold up to this point were just, were, uh, only had 100,000 more than that. Both, uh, was it? Uh, both Insane Trilogy and, uh, CTR Nitro Fuel. Like, both those games. Oh, damn it. Yeah, those two other games only beat it out by a hundred thousand. And in this industry, you know, in gaming industry, four hundred thousand—that's nothing to sneeze at. Especially when we're in a time right now of game industry where people can can share their libraries. Hold on. The hair returns. Yeah, while well, we're we're in this time where people can sh can effortlessly share their libraries and whatnot, so getting four hundred thousand, where about I'm gonna say about a hundred thousand of those people, about a hundred thousand of those people have basically have, have effectively have two copies because they're sharing one, or don't count for half of what of the people because they're sharing a copy with a friend. And I already went off on this on Twitter. Basically, my whole thought process was, well, Activision, I hope that influx of money you got from Crash 4 was worth shutting the doors on Toys for Bob, because you're going to be right back to where you are. You're going to be right back to where you are in about three months' time, wondering what went wrong. Something to the tune of something to the tune of we got we got more people working on Call of Duty Warzone. Why isn't it making more money? Not to say Call of Duty Warzone is a bad game, but just that area of gaming is basically known as a toxic cesspool. Thanks to the fan base. The internet, where something you love can have a toxic fan base and ruin everybody's perception of you because of that fan base. Coincidentally, does everybody know that I'm a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I got on one hell of a tangent, didn't I? Circling back around to this again. Hey, Scooter, what did you do with your first day of May? I spent my entire I spent my entire morning trying to wake up because my CPAP broke the night before, and I spent the and I spent the entire night unchecking check marks so people can't reuse the content I made at their own leisure. Gonna skip that one. Damn, it's another it's another one of those songs that I can't place. Oh, when did you do this? Don't do that. I never asked you to do that. Why did you do that? Ooh, I'm also, that means it's probably a Final Fantasy song. Okay, Final Fantasy VI, that's why. A game I have yet to play. A game I would like to play at some point. I've toyed around a couple times with doing a blind playthrough of Final Fantasy VI, but always scared to do that. Do that simply because that's the kind of game where we weren't into hand-holding nature of games yet. And it's the kind of game where you need to know everything you're you now you need to know everything about the game in depth from multiple failed uh, playthroughs. Otherwise, you will do nothing but fail. All right. I guess Sanctum was the far, the kind of the start of it, but man. Starting to see some of the stuff here of, uh, starting to see some of the stuff here from Portal is just like, where I just like, I'm actively started trying to play, yeah, I actively start, uh, try, I actively tried to play all, or tried to play more PC games for the channel instead of just Nintendo stuff. I realized diversity would help along with, uh, uh, Front fracking is it? Playing PC stuff along with playing indie stuff that not everybody knew. So I think that's the point where I was just like, okay, I need to start changing up what and how much of what I play on the channel because it will help me stand out more. What one do you just click on? Super Mario 3 Part 12. 13. 12 or 13? 13. I'm not insane, I'm not insane. This will be a lot more organized once we get to more current times. 
I'm not insane, I'm not, not insane. Come back to me, it's almost easy. Come back to me, it's almost easy. I don't know the rest of the lyrics to that. I only know that bit from the song. I don't know what the actual name of that song is, but I know it's by Avenged Sevenfold. I will tell you, great band. Wish I could play some of the music to sample it for you, but once again, DMCA is a thing. Um, I, but I will also tell you, like, if you do want to explore Avenged Sevenfold and all their music, brace yourself for to spend some time if you're going to listen to everything they've done. Because they kind of do... A rock opera thing of sorts where every song is a story so every song is about seven plus minutes but they're all fantastic songs it's also hard rock Open a window because it's it's nice outside, so I finally opened a window. Also, it's getting sticky in here. But the air, the wind from out, it's like it's really the wind is blowing really hard because it's supposed to storm pretty bad tomorrow, like tomorrow and Monday. So like the wind is blowing super hard, and it is strong enough that it's like it's the wind is like almost strong enough that it's not knocking stuff over outside. Ah, uh, T-Worlds. First time I ever explored into fan-made online play stuff. You know, I just thought about it. It's going to make me the maddest if it gets to that point. What's going to make me the maddest here is if I go through and do all of this. And I get to the and I get done with it all. And then, like, the ne the day after I finish, whether that be tomorrow, I finish it all up tonight and it goes tomorrow or something else. Like, all of this gets unchecked back and I have to, or I get, it, it all gets turned back on. I'll be so cross and so upset. And I will also be that petty or have that much spite that I will go back and I will redo all of it again.
Oh. Well, here's the first music track. Here's a here's a music track that I have that's basically, hey, here's this one guy who made a remix of a song that Jared Connery used in the Let's Play. Hey, it's 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 something good. I'm gonna download it because it's cause I'm gonna go download it because it's open for free download. God, I really hammered hard on the Pokemon in, in the early days, didn't I? What? I can easily capture footage of Pokemon with my computer? Well, sign me right the heck up, friend. I'm just gonna go ahead and... I'm just gonna go ahead and play all of these Pokemangos for my channel, because that's what everybody's doing for their channel. Weird com what a weird combination here. A lot of it's centered around space, oddly enough, but Super Metroid, Pokemon Platinum, and Sanctum. And Rystar. Did I say Rystar? If I didn't, I'm gonna say Rystar now. Good lord, that was a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, part 8. That's no problem about going rapid fire like this with the tabs is I will sometimes misclick who my wrist is gonna work out man oh you're in this song Okay, so here in this song, this is this is kind of a dumb thing. But hearing this song, oh god, hearing this song just reminds me that, like, this is like this is probably one of the big thing that reminded me that OC Remix was a thing, and then I found out that they had a YouTube channel because, uh. Mr. Cynical Brit, aka Total Biscuit, aka John Bain, used this specific song in like one of his weekly recap videos when he was when he was still around. And I was like, oh my god, this song is amazing. How did I not know about this? And it's like, wait, OC Remix still a thing? I remember that from back in 2001. What do they have on there? And then the floodgates open. They have a YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. And then I got music. And then I got musical remixes almost every single day for my entire life. still miss that man like he got a hard rap because he was you know he was he was kind of a stern man but he knew how to he knew how to enjoy himself and his his tone of voice didn't really his tone of voice didn't really help to the fact that he was just a fun loving guy but I do kind of miss I do do kind of miss that guy he was awesome
You know what the sampling thing? I think someone actually said the best of the sampling thing I saw earlier is. I mean, I said it as, you know, YouTube is trying to com compete with TikTok and the fact that all the content on TikTok is super short and are clips that people take from each other to do duets and all that kind of stuff. But I think the other thing is that YouTube's trying to do the sample thing now. Because even though they can't target kids specifically anymore with Copa in effect, they're still trying to target kids with their limited attention span. So as I'm just saying it and hearing back in my head, like, am I kind of, am I kind of hurting myself by not uh, allowing myself to be seen by that younger fan base? Probably. Am I better off for do for am I better off for doing it like this so a younger so a younger fan base oh or so I can't be attributed if Copa comes back to bite YouTube in the butt and it says oh by the way we know you're using this to attract kids anymore so anybody who falls under these violations of uses these uses these or allows these is at fault I'll be in the clear. Like, that's half the reason why I'm doing this. Half of it is, half of this is I don't want people to steal the work that I did, even if it's, you know, 15 seconds at a time. I don't want people to steal the work that I did, but also I don't want to be the one holding, I don't want to be the one holding the, uh, holding the blame on all this should something happen in the long run. Here we go backwards. <sighs> Sorry, distracted. Oh boy, Sonic R. That whole thing popping up on my timeline once again. Okay, I think we're starting to get into... Yeah, I think with this we're starting to get into what's closer to my current structure. That I stuck with overall is... This whole... Oh, right, right. When videos could start being as long as you want them to be. Uh, starting to get back into this structure, uh, or this uh, structure that I currently have of a main series during the week, a sub series on the weekend, and something else is filler. Yep, yep, we're coming up on that series. My uh, lovely, my lovingly titled Son of a Bitch series, which is basically my rant series, or me saying, hey, here's what I'm excited for, here's what I'm not excited for. That short-lived series that lasted all about two months. That's what I want to say. I don't want to be the one caught holding the bag if anything bad happens with this whole sharing feature. So that's why I'm turning it off.
Uh, it's a process. It is a process to undo all of this. And again, I wouldn't be having to thumb through every single freaking video and doing this if YouTube gave it, when they put this out, also put out a blanket option to just uncheck this. But every video I upload now, and every video that I've ever uploaded, I have to find this, this button specifically and uncheck it. Uh, my mouse cord is long enough. I'd like to put this on. I would like to put this on my lap. I would like to put the mouse on my ma on my lap now, so I can not have to crane my arm on the desktop. It's gonna be so weird. Like, I've never, I haven't been this far ahead of my schedule ever in some time, and I'm like, I'm prep, mentally prepping myself for it this week leading into next week, where basically I'm just gonna have a week off where I can do whatever. I'm not mentally prepared for that step because I always, like, I always stop myself and say, okay, you're done recording, you're done doing this, put it down for the day, come back to it later. My brain doesn't hasn't fun like my brain hasn't been unable to unhinge from that and just do what I want for content for some time and do however much of content I want to for some time more to go like what would make this so much easier is if there was just like a if there was an arrow like if there was an arrow somewhere on the bottom of this page here to be like go to previous go to previous video or go to next video in list like that would make this 20 times faster but no I have to do it like this I had the window open, it's still sticky in here. What's what's it like outside? electrical equipment today. Oh no, never mind. It got up to 90 degrees today. I was wondering why it felt so warm. 60s overnight. Yeah, I'm probably going to leave the window open. Worms. 
is such an era of my creation, such an era of my life. The Worm series just up until five in the morning being a goof, playing, playing a stupid asymmetrical strategy game. this because like this is a part of this is a part where I started to do more uh, was it? like this was a era this era was when I started to be more into doing collab and co-op stuff a lot more simply because of uh, started to be more centered around thanks no, no, they, they put it on the end of the reel thank you um but yeah cause everybody was everybody was working together in this capacity like doing a lot of co-op stuff together so this is an area where I was just like hey let's just record these worms we just record these games of worms we've been, we do and Put them up online. Stupid things we say intact. And then that eventually led to the creation of the Midway Gate, which was a collab channel. Which also led to the creation, which also eventually led to the downfall of that channel because we had several people who couldn't work together anymore. And there, that really was like a that really was like a major period of of YouTube, wasn't it? Where like everybody was just like collab, 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 collab. Let's get together. Let's work on something together. Let's co-op something. Let's do this. Let's do that. Do this and do that. And then there was two years of that, and then everything just went. <laughs> no more collapse. Eh, no, it's not it yet. Damn. How is it already 7.30? Have I really, I've really been doing this for almost two hours now, haven't I? Almost three hours. Well, I mean, I'm committed to this bit, right? Not gonna stop anytime soon. Itchy eye. All right. This should go quick enough, but I'm gonna get to the end of this page and then I'm gonna use the restroom uh, really quick. And I'll probably come back and have time to do one or two more pages and then have to go get my laundry. And then I should be guilt free on what I can and cannot do until the end of the night. Oh, Lord help me if I am doing this until four in the morning. Oh god, yeah, I remember the end of the Wario Land 4 series. The end of the Wario Land 4 series, basically where I, where I was like, oh, I can finish this on an even number. How do I do that? And then proceeded to find a way to finish the entire thing on even number by putting out several videos that could be condensed to one video, but, but I spread them out over... I spread them out over several... I spread out a... Uh, basically a bonus a normal what I would normally do for a bonus video and spread it out over five videos
Man, I remember. I remember when. Uh, I remember when YouTube actually helped people with. I actually remember with when uh, YouTube used to help people with their tags. It was even all automated. Didn't have to change a thing, but nope. Sorry, I'm focusing super hard on this and I'm very much barely paying attention otherwise. Oh, nope. Reopen that one. Reopen that one. As I said before, I'm not going to be caught holding this bag if things go under. Which means I have to get at every single one of these. Somebody's driving a very fast car outside. Alright, that's done. I am going to be back in just a minute. Yeah, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to use the restroom.
Okay, I have returned. Get back on that grind. Oh man, a Bobo's big adventure. Just such a stellar game, such an outstanding game. All fan made too. Fantastic game. Oh, here we are with this weird ass upload schedule I had where nothing made sense. Just let's let's upload let's upload video these videos in every other day and then put out these other this other totally different video series alongside it and then yeah, just no. What was that one? 10. Okay. God, what was my upload schedule, man? Oh, Rhythm Heaven Fever. Probably the first, probably the first proper, that one probably the first proper, um, think fast I did. And then that, and then the second, uh, second, uh, second of three son of a bitch videos. Lord. This one I had my edgy time of, be, of being a content creator is right around here. Just how many, how many videos can I make? How many videos can I make that follow the trends and how much can I swear? That was this era. That was this era of YouTube for me, definitely. I would so love to be get, try and get all this done today. I can definitely tell my mind is wandering a bit. Like I need other stimuli to help get me through all this. I've almost made it through a thousand of them though. As my left eye twitches telling me, hey, you're tired.
just going through all this. Like, I'm waiting for that. I, I know I said it already during the stream, but I'm waiting for it at that at one point. Ooh, make sure that actually took because I, I went away too fast. I'm waiting for, like, somebody to say. Okay, never mind. It took. Um, I'm waiting for, like, some study to come out that says, oh, having this a lot of people to sample the content is actually better for you. Just because of how it's done, but... I, I don't trust it. I really do not trust it. Like, I'm... Like, in a couple... Like I said, in a couple months, I I don't see anything good happening with this in a couple months' time. And, like, it's gonna... The people who didn't bother to undo it are gonna get dragged down to the bottom. Because there's gonna be something going on that's gonna come back against this decision. This is going to take forever. <laughs> uh... I'm not going to lie. I thought I would always be done by th with this at this point. Like, I realize there's a lot to go through, but I also thought, you know, with how I have everything set up, it'd only take, it'd only take, like, three, four hours to get through the whole shebang, and I'll be done with, done and over with it, and I can go on with my life. Well, guess who was incredibly wrong this day? I saw something light up in the corner. Give me one second before I lose my place. Oh, hi, monkey. Um, basically, I'm going through and unchecking this sample content button because YouTube has decided to do a shorts panel or decided to shadow drop a shorts feature, which basically people could take 15 seconds from each of your videos and up and use them on their own channel with no consequence. Basically, YouTube got tired of TikTok taking away their their video reign. It's like, we're going to make a TikTok. Hello, Sheeply. There's your button. So yeah, I'm having to go through almost, well, no, I'm having to go through 5,000 videos across my main channel and the Twitch archive channel and turn this off one by one. Yeah. Yeah, like news got out that this was happening late last night. 
So they definitely shadow dropped it and they put and they turned it on by default on every single video. I don't know. I never shared it with the Puddles community, did I? I should probably grab those links and share it with the Puddles community while I'm thinking of it. I need to share it with Cold Place, actually. Okay, good. Definitely in their shoes. I know Slim has got Slim will have just as much work as I do with this whole thing. Odin snack maybe about as much, maybe about half as much. Cause like I said, I got five thousand of these things. To, I got five thousand of these things to go through. I'm almost done with a thousand of them. Owen's also got stacky marathon to go through too. Damn. But yeah, it's an option that's on by default on every video. This is a, it's also been like a nice trip down memory lane a little bit here as well, but this is, this is stupid. This is, instead of making another platform to compete with TikTok, YouTube said, we're making TikTok. And as I've said many times throughout this, should anything bad come about this, I'm not going to be the one holding the bag because YouTube was negligent. Now I at least got that. Now I at least got the message out there for people so they can see it. This is so agonizingly stupid. I'm uploading the. By the way, this is gonna be the funny part. Is I'm gonna upload this vod too, to the to the archive channel when I'm done. I'm gonna upload this vod. keep myself sane I was gonna do it on my own on my own time but I took to Twitter and said hey I was gonna, I'm gonna do this anyway today but if I stream it would people be okay with that and the Twitter poll said yes so here we are basically I wasn't gonna do I wasn't gonna stream this if people weren't okay with seeing this but I wasn't gonna stream I wasn't going to stream at all if people said no, because I w this is of utmost importance to me and something I need to get handled now. I should have put on I should have put on top of this. There's no blanket. There's no blanket option to uncheck this box or check it. There's no blanket option. I can't just go into uh, settings of content, uncheck a box, and be done. Uh, people have been popping in here and there, but I also understand. I understand, though, it's not the most entertaining thing to, to do. Like, being honest, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here 
with a mouse in one hand and my left hand doing flips and tricks with the other while I just ramble into the abyss while I basically go through quote unquote legal crap. <laughs> Hey, it's all you, man. It's all what you want to do, all what you want to say, all what you want to do with your time. This is how I'm choosing to spend my time. Send this to Stancia. And like, I've got, I've done this kind of, I've, with, uh, downloading my stuff. What is it, with downloading my own stuff? so to say for saving it so I don't have so if the worst ever happens I don't lose everything so I've gone through this process before of downloading my stuff going through every video and downloading it but still this is give me a blanket option give me a blanket option to, to click that just says all videos undone or all do not share on any videos do not sample on any video because you know what I would rather be doing right now I'd rather be streaming, goofing around in Monster Hunter, completing some of the sub-quests that I ignored to run through the, all the content. I'd rather be playing Pac-Man 99. Or, or also playing Shantae. I would rather be doing that right now, but, of course, can't have it. Oh god, oh god that is the first part of Happy Wheels. Oh god, that's Happy Wheels. I spelled that word wrong. I'm not gonna fix it, but I spelled that word wrong. What did I just click on? Bonus eight. Okay. The sad part is I don't... The sad part is I don't think... I hate to say this, but I don't think, unless I cram through this all right now, I don't think I'm going to get this done before I eventually crash. Like, oh damn it, part 53. Like, yeah, I'm through the first 1,000. Two and a half hours in. Actually, it's probably close to three hours now. I haven't looked at my uptime recently. Make sure, so 46, and okay, we're good. Oh yeah, I remember, th I remember th that, that series of Sanctum videos I did, basically. Basically, the uh, the first, like, when I got my, one of my, I guess my second ever new PC build, uh, four PC builds I've done in my life now, I was like, oh my god, look at my new computer, look at how pretty it makes everything look. Now I get, now I build a new computer, just like, it's a new computer. I've needed one for about five years, I've needed one for about five, six years to keep up, to keep up with demand. I don't even play. I don't even play like a lot of flashy games on newer computers now. I just get the more powerful computer to make rendering easier. Which I don't, have I? I don't think I've talked about that. I think I've talked about it like way long ago when it first happened. But now, some of the videos I've been working on with it have started coming to light. 
Uh, I bought and installed my first uh, M.2 solid state drive. So a lot of stuff I do now is I record to and render to that hard drive and, and then I upload it from that so there's no mechanical drive or even solid state drive, you know, disk space wait time. Which I gotta say man, like, it's so weird installing a uh, .m2 because it's literally a uh, micro SD chip implanted implanted on a on a circuit board barely any bigger than like a like a normal like what you think of when you think of a stick of gum Installing that was probably the hardest part. Was probably the most stressful part because they gave me the thought. They gave me the uh, like I got the the drive for it. Yeah, I got the the hard drive for it, but they didn't include a anchoring screw for the hard drive. Like all, it just takes like most motherboards now have it, but all it takes is all it takes is one screw to like lock it in place and keep it steady. But even then, when you, when you put it in, like if you bend it a little bit downward with the screw, but because it's so small and light, like you don't need a lot of force to hold it in place to begin with. It's just, it's just starting an M.2. It's scary, but man, is it speedy and efficient. Like a lot of stuff now, if I do, if I render to it, if I render anything to it, like my audio, my audio from recording or the, or the, uh, final record or the final render of a project of a video, like that takes time, but that all boils down to, uh, processing power, processing power of my CPU at this point. It's not limited by hard drive. My brain tells me I missed that one. Probably didn't, but I want to check. Okay. Nope, we got that one. I feel like... I'm like one of a hundred people who are even bothering to go back and do this right now. Like total on the entirety of the YouTube website. Either from people who even knew this thing ha is uh, even know this thing happened. Or for people who... Bring the fire sometime. Or people who care enough to even do this. And I'm pretty sure at some point two or three years down the road from now... YouTube's gonna implement some other feature. We'll have to go back through all this again and uncheck everything manually. I said it at the start too, but my prob like any problem I have with any problem I have with this is not with the is not with the engineering team that had to build the system to start with. They were just doing their job. My problem is YouTube is wasting their engineers' times. They're wasting users' time for something that was not even remotely asked for and all they had to do at any point while making this system is pull their users openly and say hey would you use this feature if we added it
It would have saved everybody time. But well, much like with the Google Plus integration debacle, nope, can't have things that make sense. Hey, look, I hit the 1,000th video on my channel before I deleted some for upgrade updated versions of them. Ah, here we go, copyright. The copyright video where I complained about copyright issues. Fantastic. Where a majority of users were... Oh, huh. Uh, yeah, I can't read that. Is it, that is all in katakana. Never mind. There's some hiragana on the top of the title. I can't read it because I can't. I can't get it because I can't read it properly. It's like hishimo, hishimoku. No, hishimo uji. Yeah, and then it goes to Katakana after that. <laughs> Memory, uh, flexing, my, flexing what knowledge I have. Okay, part five of that, yeah. I lost what topic I was on. My brain is doing great today. Then again, I be, I said this before, but I've also spent the last two and a half, two and a half days doing nothing, and I mean nothing, but playing Monster Hunter. I don't recall where it was. Something about hitting, seeing the 1,000th video and then before I deleted everything for higher quality versions of everything. All right, the copyright video. That's what it was. I think what it was, I think what it was with that was, um, excuse me. I think what it was with that video was that this is when, you know, DMCA claims were starting to fly out. And people were complaining because copyright strikes were happening were happening against people for using music that they didn't make or didn't have like something that said use this use this uh, you can you freely use this content. That's when it first like openly first started happening is in this batch of this page of videos. I think I made a video is just like, dude, you don't own that video. You didn't you don't own that music. You didn't make that music. Why are you up in arms about this? You don't own the rights to that, nor ha or, and specifically, you haven't been given the rights to use that. Why are you being such? Why is everybody being so dumb about this? You failed. <laughs> I even went on and say like, yeah, I've used, yeah, I've got like two or three videos from way back when that were that definitely used music that was heavily copyrighted and I didn't make. And I'm going to and I'm just going to take my loss on that one. But we got but there are people out there complaining super hard. There are people out there complaining that had that were using like I'm trying to think of something. I'm just going to say Lonely Island cuz I think they started making they were making music around the time. Got people using the uh, Lonely Island music and going uh why did I get a copyright strike? Man, like this thing about the sampling thing, like this is legit, a uh, legit concern for people that people should be upset about. 
But that copyright thing, that made more sense because why? Why would you Why would you think you you are in the right on this one? Alright, another thumbnail I didn't save. Man, when thumbnails first came out, I spent so long, like, these are super cookie cutter, spent no more than like two like 20 seconds of a thumbnail in this in this era when thumbnails first came out. But I love how I was up getting all these thumbnails out and going, and not a lot of them saved. Like, I uploaded them multiple times on the same video and just wouldn't save, wouldn't save, wouldn't save. Eventually, I just gave up, and then they finally got fixed like two months later. It's so weird to think that like, like, what is it, last year, two years ago, something like that? Yeah, I think it was two years ago. I did the 3DS version of Sonic Generations, but these Sonic Generations videos, these are like eight, these are like seven, eight years old, dude. There is a large gap of time. People moved, people moved on from secondary school to high school during this period of time. If that's even the right, even if that's even the right term at all. Of course, now that I say that, I'm remembering like two, three weeks ago, I was having a conversation with with a with a longtime friend who was, well, he was a younger lad at the time, but now he is graduating college, about a person that I uh, managed to click undo, about somebody that about a friend I had who was a young lad, and then he moved on, and now and then recently talking, it's like you're graduating college. Man, I've been doing this too long. <laughs> God, are we in scheduled video time yet? I think we're starting to get close to scheduled videos. That magical time in my life when I could schedule videos. How did I stretch out Sonic Generations to be 44 parts? God, in this freaking landmine area of YouTube where I just of my YouTube career where I was just like I have a video out on this and just plop that just plop that some bitch in I don't care does it make sense schedule ice nope am I gonna plop it anyway yep I hate how I went from like at the like closer to the start of the career I had a set schedule of everything and then at this part it was just like, upload everything. Upload everything. Doesn't matter if it's got if it's got a spot it's supposed to go in normally. Just upload everything all at once. Look at this goddamn mess. Look at this mess of videos. It's gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse before it gets better too. Because I remember I had a series of. I had a period of time where I was doing two proper full Let's Play projects at a time, but alternating the days on when they went live.
Oh, I don't know what happened there. I suddenly got a second one. Oh, shoot, I forgot I have laundry in the dryer. Uh, I want to get through this page and then take a quick dip downstairs to load up my laundry basket again. But I won't have to fold it this time until... I won't have to fold it this time because it's my last load of laundry. At least I won't have to fold it right away. So yeah, once I get through this page, I'll step away again for just a minute to get my laundry. But then that shouldn't take much more than like two minutes. starting to bleed together. Ah, yes, the banger of Donkey Kong Country it is here. Don't get me wrong, Gangplank Galleon is not a bad song for Donkey Kong Country, but, but, I've, I've seen and heard a lot more remixes of Frantic Factory than I have Gangplank Galleon. <laughs> I guess Factory of Fears, that's proper title. No, that's a remix title. Damn, what is this the actual name? I don't know it anymore. Dun, 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 dun. One thing I will say about my past self is I at least had the foresight to put everything in a playlist. Holy cow. Like for a lot of this stuff, unless I know it's a think fast unless I know it's a think fast video only, I'll be quicker to go find the playlist for a series than I will be to go find the raw video of, uh, of it instead. Lines are starting to bleed together. That means I've been staring at this for far too long. The same format for far too long. You know, and you know what's the thing? You know what the thing is? If I could, if I could to help like de-stress my brain, because I know how I can set up different sound formats and everything. If I could, 
I'd be watching like YouTube on the other tab right now, just to keep my just like have something to look over at and keep my mind distracted. But I don't want to have any of that bleed into the video and take away from somebody like for, basically force somebody to watch the content I enjoy. Anyway, <sighs> well that's where that is. Oh god, we're in the man versus machine stuff. Anyway, I am going to walk away for a minute and go get my laundry. But I'll be back to do more of this in just a minute.
Alright. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Browns two. God, Borderlands 2, when that was new. Good lord. Anyway. I keep doing that. So I went off and I had... I also had like a small snack, a small uh, nut, uh, nut bar just to get my... Just to satiate my hunger for a little bit. Because I want to try my hardest to power through all this tonight, if I can. Whether I stream the entire process is another matter all in itself. But God, what was that? I've already lost track. This is, yeah, this is bull, this is bull crap. And of course my short term memory is coming back to bite me because I don't remember if I'm doing half of the check marks now. Got thinking of this because a lot of the stuff I've got here, like it is very cut and dry stuff. A lot of cut and dry videos that I added a little bit of dead spaces, but I didn't edit like a huge do a huge a lot of or a huge amount of editorial work on this kind of stuff. But I just got thinking, you know, about the people who do like huge editorial uh, videos that take them, you know, a couple weeks to a couple months to get done. And if they don't know about this happening, don't go back and fix it. Basically, like, their entire day slaving away on a 15 second edit is just going to get yoinked by somebody and used as a duet on the website. And they can't go back and say, but I didn't say you could use this. seeing all this it makes me think that like you know I would I would almost want to like put a watermark on videos again I did that like around this time of my video creation process I started putting watermarks on stuff because there was a real problem of people just taking stuff for their own use and now I'm kind of now that this is coming up again I'm kind of mentally thinking do I want to start putting watermarks on videos again I don't want to because I feel like that ruins the quality of the video but I'll do it if it starts to become an issue I know I initially started doing that because back when I first started talking with Slim more regularly, like 
he's had so many people taking his stuff and like he had so many people taking his stuff and re-uploading it and then when they get called out they would take it down but they'd re-upload it again to give it a rainbow filter so like go through all the colors of the rainbow and people and you know still would find out like nope we can still tell that's the video you can you can i know that voice you can go ahead and just put put that away now you you're getting called out you're not fooling anybody I will say, like, that is one thing I would give, like, for, there is something that pops up every now and again while I'm surfing, while I'm surfing YouTube, like, every now and again, like, every once or two, one, one or two months, I'll get a notification of, hey, our bot has picked up that some videos may sh uh, share some similarities to, or some vi a video on the site shares some similarities to a video you have. Like, okay, that's fine, I'll go look at the video, I'll see if I hear my own voice, and if I don't, I just ignore, I just archive it, and if I do hear it, do hear my own voice, which I haven't yet, I'll take action as needed at that point. Woo! First thousand down. Almost four hours. I would say let's go turbo mode, but I know me going turbo mode is going to do nothing other than make me miss stuff. So I'm just going to keep on this straight and narrow path I've got right now. Okay. My video upload schedule is starting to make sense again. I'm coming back around to the whole, yeah. at this point I'm coming back around to the whole, uh, starting to come back around to the upload proper series on only these days and only upload a video a day and then upload other stuff over the weekend. Kind of. So, you need to look at something else really quick.
Okay. <sighs> Alright, sorry. I need a bit of a, of a mental reprieve. Look at something else for a minute. go. Yeah, I'm ment um, mentally I'm starting to lose my focus on this again. I, but again, I think I attribute more to the fact it's been almost four hours of me doing this now, and I'm roughly a quarter done. Makes me elated to know that I still have about 16 more hours of this horse crap left to go. I guess closer to 12 hours left, but still. Like, why? Why Why would you do Why do you do this? Why, why do you goddamn do this, YouTube? This is not a good feature. This is a bad feature. This is probably the worst feature you've rolled out. I just popped over to YouTube and there's some people who can't even, who physically have more responsible things to do with their time and can't handle this kind of stuff right now. Yeah, sick to my stomach with this kind of crap. I think I need to, as much as I power through this, I think I need to like take my time with this and kind of pull back and wind down and take it at a slower pace. And I need to do something else while doing this outside of streaming because as much as I'm enjoying talking with you guys about things, but I, I like I said before, I know this isn't the most this isn't the most entertaining thing to do to watch, and also the fact that. I've already talked in circles. I've already talked in circles. This is this is horse crap. Like nobody's enjoying this. Nobody from any aspect is enjoying this. And it's, for, and it's a feature that 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 less than one percent of your user base are even going to use because they even because you did, you shadow dropped it so nobody would know it exists. That less than one percent that's going to discover this feature, they're going to find it out because they're going to get curious and go, "Hey, what's this button do?" and click it and go, "Oh, that's what that does." And then over half those people are going to go, "That's stupid," and close it. Kindly remove your head from your ass for one year, YouTube. One year, remove your head entirely out of your ass and see what's going on.
That's the one. Hover. Yeah, in fact, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm not sure if anybody's lurking or watching. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna, for now, for now, I'm gonna just make this the last thing I do on camera. I'm gonna handle this in my own time with something else to watch so I don't go completely bonkers. Because I have 38,000 to go through still. 3,800, not 1,000. Yeah, I have about 3,800 to go through still. I'm gonna be powering through it. I can make some coffee. But I definitely need food to power, to give me the energy because I've eaten like I've eaten like two protein bars and a very small peanut butter sandwich all today. That's all I've eaten. I need to eat something with some substance to it too. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end things here. I'm gonna end things here on the stream. This is this is this was a great experiment, but a failed experiment nonetheless. Because I'm tired of YouTube's horse crap. Anyway. Is there anybody out there that has any questions they want to ask before I wrap this stream up? I'm going to hand it off to somebody else who is live right now. Actually, no, I'm just gonna let auto host take care of it. I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna rate I'm not gonna rate anybody with this. This is not worth watching for saying somebody I was something I was doing. I'm gonna let somebody else do it. I'm gonna let somebody else handle it. I'm gonna let this thing handle it. Hey everyone, thanks for coming out, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go make a hamburger or something. I'll see you guys Monday. I'll see you guys on Monday for hopefully something that's not this. I have a busy day coming up on Monday because I'm going to try and schedule a bunch of appointments and also do a whole bunch of grocery shopping for the 10th forward because it's when I get my second COVID shot. So Monday may be a little bit weird, but thanks to somebody who came out to witness this process. As you can see, I'm barely even like a fourth of the way through it, if that. And I'm going to be just chugging through it for the re basically the rest of today and tomorrow. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Stay safe. And jury. <laughs>